I've been selling vintage for a little over a year now. I started online in May of 2017 and I opened up my shop seven months later and it's going on a year. I have always loved vintage um, I have, since a kid. Um, growing up in a family of nine on a farm worker wage that we had, my mother had to be very creative on how to stretch the dollar to clothe everybody in the family. So we would go to yard sales and Goodwills and Salvation Armies and really that's where it piqued my interest. I used to be a stylist and kind of being immersed in the fashion industry and meeting designers and then getting an understanding of how clothing is made. Um, and then being a shop owner and understanding how selling vintage clothing it has a real positive impact on the environment and sustainability as well as like how it doesn't lend itself to exploiting people. Now that's also part of one of the main reasons why I do vintage. Um, so originally it wasn't that, but now it is definitely a core part of what motivates me to sell vintage. At first, it felt like it was a growth milestone, and it felt, in a sense, like, if I can open up a brick and mortar store in Oakland, I've made it. So yeah, it was just something that I would describe as being on my bucket list, always something that I wanted to do, and I did it, and it feels amazing. One of my greatest challenges is essentially Helping myself scale, you know, being a one person shop means that I have to do um, everything and there's a lot of moving parts. So between actually sourcing the clothing and um, and then having to, you know, bring it into my, my e-commerce platform and then photographing it and, you know, promoting it on social and any other channel. There's a lot to, to do, so I think the challenge for me is uh, finding bandwidth and being able to scale. And then eventually there's also funding um, to help me in those areas. Creatively speaking, what I want to do more of is push more of a style blog um, feel on my website and in my store because what I want to inspire is essentially a fearlessness in, like, in a person as it comes through in style and I feel with vintage because pieces can be so unique and so you know have a, a, a true look from the era that they are from I think there's a way to incorporate vintage into modern day looks and make it look really sharp and unique so it takes a certain person to wear things like that with confidence and stuff. And I think there's an element of that fearlessness in everybody. Sometimes it just needs to be brought out and discovered. If, you, if you've had an idea long enough, you know, just go out and try it. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Just give it a shot. If it doesn't work, you did it and you tried it and you could scratch it off your list.